Hello there, folks. We're going to home develop a uh, black and white film here. Film today will be a uh, Nilford HP5 Plus Push to 1600. We're going to use today Nilford microphone as a developer. It's right here, flash image. As a fixer, we're going to use uh, Adopix from Adox, right here. As a washing aid, just simple dishwasher water rinser. Right here, we have the film. I already loaded the film in a dark room. Now it's completely light proof. Let's pour some developer here. And let's start off here on the Yieldboard microphone bed sheets. This will require a time of 11 minutes with the developer. We're gonna pour in the developer now. I'm gonna stop the stopwatch here on my iPod. It's very important to start the timer as soon as you start pouring the developer. First minute, I'll just agitate the tank, pull it off. Punch it up a little so air bubbles will come off. Well, in case you're wondering, this developing time is for 20 degrees centigrade. That's about room temperature right here. For the first 10 seconds each minute, I'm gonna agitate again. The liquid will revolve and the film will be correctly developed. Since I'm push processing, I can only use plain stock illusion as you saw me pouring them into the tank. Right here we have the other solutions. We have the fixer, one plus nine illusion, and we have the washing aid. The illusion one to nineteen. So I will just show you all what I use. Measuring cup is probably everyone has seen. This cup, well, you really want to know what this is? It's a urine cup. Much cheaper than most of the graduates in the West. You find on a specialty store funnel. We'll use that to reuse the developer. Most developers you can reuse when you're using stock solution. As far as reusing the other solutions, since I'm not using the stock fixer, obviously I will not pour back into the fixer, nor the washing aid. These are the sheets can get on the internet. This particular one is on the Ilford website. Fixing time is not very critical. The Ilford data sheets and for the for the fixers right here on the middle cardboard. You can see that the uh, fixer could be in between two and five minutes. Since the uh, recommended time from the air is four minutes, I'll just keep up to the four minutes. That will mean it's almost done, or just two minutes. I'm not using a stop bag. I'm just going to fresh water, rinse it twice. That should stop the developer. I'm not using a stop bag. I'm just using fresh water. There's always some in the developer. That sticks to the film, so we just have to force stopping developing, otherwise, it will get more developing time than you need it. And to let it sit for and a half minutes, it's not rocket science, it will make some development. Just follow the instructions here on the data sheet, actually, quite simple. I haven't used tap water, just want to use distilled water, quite cheap, 95 cents, 5 liters of distilled water. On this data sheet, and for the able for microphone, in particular, I just had to warm up the 750 cc, 40 degrees, and mix the powders together. There were two bags inside this bag, and mix it according to the instructions, and then add the rest of the fresh water. Okay, four and a half, let's put this shade out. Let's open this tank. Oh, oh that's me. Okay, let's just pour it. Doing this for three or four minutes and pouring the washing aid. The time that I have to wash your clothes, I think, to be doing this. You will want to wash the, the film quite thoroughly at the end of the year because when it dries up, you wouldn't want any stains from the mixer. In addition to that, the washing aid will be exactly that. It will diminish the, the surface tension on the water molecules that stick to the film, and uh, when it dries up, throughout the washing aid, you'll get water stains all over the film. So in the washing aid now. Okay, here we go. Yeah. And a little bit more. Well, actually, 1 to 20 dilution of the washing aid seems to be too much since there's a lot of bubbles coming out. That's not very good. Move as much as possible. Okay. Okay, so we're in the bathroom right now. I have 
kind of clamps right here. As you can see, this one has a little weight in it, so it will stick the bottom of the film. And then we're gonna hang it up to dry right here. Let it dry for a few hours, maybe. We'll get the spiral and see inside. Okay, here we go. Well, this one's unexpected. <laughs> one right here. Okay, stick it up. The other clamp right here. A bit of water here, fingers. And do this. I guess most folks can use those squeegees, but quite a few pros told me they actually use their fingers inspecting the film. And it looks fine. The toilet paper. And all the rest. All oh, easy. Just hang it out to dry. So I'll come back to you later.